beyond the majestic Saturn. You'll need binoculars, a telescope, or a spacecraft like Voyager 2 to see the outer outer planets. Big as it is, the planet Uranus looked like a tiny green dot when it was first spotted by William Herschel, a musician turned astronomer, in the early spring of 1781. But if Herschel had had today's Hubble Space Telescope, here's what he might have seen. A planet knocked completely over on its side. Dazzling clouds of methane, the brightest clouds anywhere in the solar system. Sensational changes of season with surges of huge storms, each one thousands of kilometers long as the planet wakes into a springtime that will last 21 Earth years. A fragile and gossamer system of rings made of millions of millions of minuscule nuggets wobbling and weaving as the fat, flattened planet bobs around. Rings with unusually sharp edges, honed by the tides of perhaps 40 or more moons, most of them yet undiscovered. Across the void once more, to the most distant planet in the plain of the sun's equator, the beautiful blue-green Neptune whose very existence was deduced from the orbital behavior of Uranus. Cobalt in color, a bit like the color of Earth, but Neptune is four times Earth's diameter. Out here, 4.5 billion kilometers from the Sun. That's roughly 30 times Earth's distance from our star. You wouldn't expect enough solar heat to stir up Neptune's atmosphere. But something is causing storm systems to zip around in the hydrogen, helium, methane skies of Neptune. The planet's vigorous equatorial jet stream would be the envy of any airline pilot skillful enough to put that particular wind to his or her back. And this mysterious sapphire of the solar system can conjure up huge dark spots in a matter of perhaps just a few weeks and then apparently make them disappear just as quickly. On flying by in 1989, Voyager saw one in the southern hemisphere. By the time the Hubble Space Telescope snapped this 1994 portrait, the spectacular smudge was long gone. But its tremendous twin showed up in the Northern Hemisphere. No one yet knows what goes on deep beneath the cloud tops of Neptune. Each of these complex planet systems works, in essence, like a small star with attendant worlds. They are solar systems in their own right, except take out the sun uh, and put in a planet, and you have a very complex, very uh, extensive system replete with a whole array of phenomenology. And we have looked and looked for aurora around Neptune and, uh, and Uranus without uh, seeing much of the same kind of uh, bright, uh, regular, consistent auroras. So um, yes, we do see them on other planets. 